Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 2. But of course, this time we are not doing uh, the main campaign. We're going to go and have a look at EX Battle. Now, I have not actually finished this yet. Uh, I think we're going to do it on camera. I've had a few practice runs, but I keep running out of time to adequately practice to the standard that I would actually like. Add into the fact that enemy placement is randomized in certain rooms makes it very difficult to actually practice, if that makes sense. Uh, this is not really the sort of um, extra game mode that I enjoy playing. This is essentially an enemy gauntlet and you have to get through it. It is not a short enemy gauntlet either. Um, it takes about 40 minutes roughly, at least for me, to complete. Uh, I have practiced extensively on this today and I just tried to record this video. Uh, I got towards the end of this and we had a power cut, so I lost the entire thing. Uh, I also had a couple of cheap deaths due to the fact that enemies spawned that I hadn't seen spawn in that particular room yet, which really screwed me over. So I'm a little bit salty with this mode at the moment but anyway without any further bullshit let's get into it so we've got level one level two level three now according to the official guide that i have and it is the primer official guide um it actually states that all this does is change the layout of the items, enemies, and ammo pickups. Apparently that's not actually true. These are difficulty levels. Now, level one being the easiest, level three being extremely, extremely difficult. Uh, I originally was only gonna do like level one or level two, or just one of them basically, because I thought they were layout changes. Now that <laughs> I found out, that it gets harder and I'm suffering a little bit with level one. I definitely could practice enough uh, and become good eventually at it where I could probably complete it with my eyes shut. However, due to the random nature and the fact that that would just require so much time uh, and I hate replaying stuff over and over and over and over and over again. I really hate repetitive um, um, tasks. <sighs> Probably why I don't like multiplayer games online, unless they're co-op. Um, Call of Duty, for instance, stuff like that, where you just play the same maps over and over and over again, and you just shoot the other guy. Really, I mean, I can play that for like half an hour before I'm absolutely sick and bored of it. Same with Overwatch, stuff like that, uh, I, and, and Battle Royale games and Fortnite. I, I don't understand how people can, can just play the same thing over and over and over and over again. But anyway, that's just me. So, we're going to go for level one for now. Now, the Dreamcast version of this is a little bit different. As you can see... When we get to the character selection screen, we have all the characters unlocked. Now, on the PlayStation version, and I believe the GameCube version, I don't know if this is available in the N64 version, you only start off with uh, Leon and Claire, and as you complete the different modes and different difficulties, you unlock Chris and Ada. Now, I, the Dreamcast version, you seem to start off with them. Um, from the get-go, which is kind of interesting. We're going to be rolling with Ada because she has the Colt SAA, which is not a brilliant gun, but because it fires so fast, it's actually quite useful. She also starts with the Mac, uh, Mac 11, which is okay. It comes in handy uh, at certain points. And she starts off with the Bowgun. The Bowgun is absolutely brilliant in this mode because the sheer quantity of ammo we get for it. Now, we have five ink ribbons to save the game with, which we can use tactically. A hazardous virus has been detected inside the transport train. Return to the police precinct. Find the four special bombs. 
located within and use them to incinerate all traces of the virus. Yes, although unknown, threats and terrors will be encountered throughout your mission. The fate of all the humankind de of all the humankind depends upon your immediate action. Good luck. Yeah, we're gonna need it. So, right, let's go, Ada. But now we do get item boxes and save rooms, which we will make use of as the game goes on. And there's a lot of areas, like this whole area that we're going to now, we don't need to go here. Um, this is totally optional, we can totally skip it, but it contains a lot of ammo and goodies that we really could use. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to harvest up some goodies. Come on, you bastards. Actually, yeah. Let's just go in here. Grab this stuff first. Because we need a lot of ammo. We need a lot of ammo. Now, on the harder difficulties, there really isn't a lot of ammo. Which is a problem. Which I, I'm sure you can understand. That that That's kind of a big deal. That there's not a lot of ammo. Uh, these spiders can seriously go and suck a cock. Honestly. They're so annoying. Uh, they don't ever really seem to do any damage to you, which is good, but they are annoying. Anyway, we're just going to grab up as many handgun bullets as we can. Handgun bullets are interesting in this mode that I'm, I'm finding. They're, they're not that useful. Now, when we get to the police station, they're going to throw everything at us. And I don't mean liquors. We'll have liquors, but I don't necessarily mean liquors and that kind of thing. That's small potatoes. I'm talking like Mr. X uh, and stuff like that. And I don't just mean we're going to bump into Mr. X once. We're going to bump into him a lot. Like, oh, I don't know. How does four Mr. X's in one room sound? Does that sound fair and good? Yes, well... Oh god, right, first bit of randomness already. We've run into this room and we've got poisoned. Straight off the bat. Also, notice another thing. There is also only one pack of ammo in this room. Uh, sometimes there's two packs of ammo in this room. <laughs> and sometimes, uh, let's see, and by sometimes I mean every time I've played it since, um, the other day, there's only ever been one spider in that room. And I play it now to record for you guys, and there's two spiders in that room. This is what I'm, I'm trying to get at. It's very difficult to try and practice run a game at mode like this, where there's so much like random shit involved and random amounts of ammo and stuff all over the place. Uh, I can only imagine how infuriating this is going to be on the harder difficulties. I can hear zombies. I can see zombies. Whoa, look at that son of a fucking bitch right there. Get the fuck out of my way, boy. Yeah, needless to say, uh, not really enjoying this mode. <laughs> I mean, it's okay, but... It, for me, personally, uh, as someone who just plays games to, to enjoy them and to chill out and relax, this is not a good thing to play to chill out and to relax. Oh, no. Oh, we've got a zombie there as well. Sometimes that is not a zombie. Sometimes that's something a lot worse. And sometimes... Oh, fuck my ass and call me Charlie. Oh, no, you son of a bitch. Yeah, that was not good. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, sometimes that's not a zombie. Sometimes that's uh, something really quite nasty, like a liquor. And I've also had that be nothing at all. Now, I can't remember in Resident Evil 2 if when you're poisoned, if your health continuously drips down 
or whether it just puts you into this injured state. Now, this room's going to be very interesting. Uh, a couple of times I've been in here, there's been nothing in here. Oh, fucking hell, spider, of course. Of course it's a spider. What else would it be? What, Mr. Tickles? Fuck you, you prick. Yeah, I'm going to be quite angry because <laughs> I've lost pretty much my entire day to this game. And I was so close. I nearly did it. I nearly got through it for the first time. I was about to crack that victory beer. I was going to be singing. We was going to have cake. Everyone was going to be invited. It was going to be wonderful. And then we had a power cut. God fucking damn it, honestly. But that's the way it goes. Now, this room's going to be very interesting. Most of the time, there's nothing in here. But I did go in here. Yep, and there's ivies. And we've got ivies again. Ah, piss. It's just one ivy, luckily. Right, good. Oh, no. The poison is actually killing us. So, it does tick your health down. It just ticks your health down very slowly. That's actually really good to know. Are you just going to give me one pack of bogum ammo? No, you're going to give me two. Another thing to note. Um, when I was playing this before, uh, on the failed run, there was nothing in there. Okay, so we came in there for two packs of bogum ammo. Uh, that's questionable as to whether that was worth it. Okay. Uh, you, Zamble, can go over there and think about what you've done. We are going to keep moving. We're going to keep this party wagon moving. Now, this mode has given me a very deep appreciation of the bowgun. The bowgun ain't bad and we've got dogs. I can hear dogs. Now, one of the things that makes uh, one of the things that makes the other modes very, very difficult is there is not this overly bountiful abundance of ammo in the other modes. In fact, um, in the hardest mode, I have been informed on the forums that you really can't fight anything. Um, and it's not worth using ammo until the final bit. And even then, if you've got more than a handful of bullets for each thing, you're doing well. Now, that wouldn't matter so much if you know where the bombs are. And you could run um, straight point to point and pick up the uh, explosives. But you can't because the explosives are randomized. There's about eight rooms that they can possibly spawn in. Yeah, they weren't playing around with this mode. They really weren't. Let's have a look, see what's in here. Now, this room has been empty. It's had spiders in it, and it's had liquors in it. We've got spiders this time. Okay, right. What we're gonna do, we're gonna grab you. And is that it? Nope, there's another one. Ada, if you could pick that up, I would be very happy. Thank you. Yeah, okay, so we're not going to fuck with that room. We're going to run in, grab the ammo, and get the F out. Whew. Okay. You're dead. This room that we're going into now is delicate. Most of the time, in fact, I think every time I've been in here, there has been poison ivies. The bad ones. I'm not seeing anything in here. There's no, see, here's the thing. There you go. Whoa! Six herbs! I've never... S okay. I've never seen six herbs in here before. Usually this room has two herbs in it and it's full of ivies are you seeing what i'm saying guys are you picking up what i'm putting down this is a very difficult mode to practice i mean i'm grateful for this herbage i am honestly um i i'm very appreciative to 
the Resident Evil gods, and I've got to keep checking that my recording is recording, because trust me guys, if this doesn't come out, I'm pretty close to being done with this mode. Uh, there we go. Not really happy with how we've had to package all those herbs up. That feels like such a huge waste, but at the same time, hey, it's health, yo. I can't believe there's nothing in here. I, I can't believe there's nothing in here. I've played this about nine times now. And there's never been nothing in here. That's a new one in my book. We've got a zombie there. There's nothing down here. Okay. Now, what's going to be in here then? This ice room. Most of the time, I get zombies on the floor. One crawler and zombies on the floor. Okay. We're getting the, we're getting the zombies on the floor. But we're getting one zombie on the floor. Never had one zombie on the floor. It's usually the entire room is filled with zombies. Oh my god. I don't know whether the game's being generous or whether it's saving up some serious fucking hardcore bullshit for us. I don't know. Very tempted to cut this video up into sections, like maybe when we save. Because that way at least, like, we... Oh god, we're not going to have like a catastrophic loss of footage and my sanity again. Now, I've watched people blast through this. You know, the professionals. Bork Soup, Carcigen. Um, people that are just ungodly good at Resident Evil. They have entire YouTube careers that are just about being amazing at Resident Evil. And, you know, my hat is genuinely off to these people. They are incredibly skilled. But I'm not one of these people. Right, so we're going to come up almost to our first... Look at all these herbs. Look at all these herbs. Some... Okay, the game is being very nice to us. Um, I don't know what's going on. Uh, the game has never been this generous before. You may think I jest, but ladies and gentlemen, I assure you, I do not jest. The game usually is... Holding me down and repeatedly kicking me in the bollocks. So why we're getting this much herbage? Have I been playing on a harder difficulty? Could that be what's going on here? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, maybe. This is not the challenge I was expecting. Um. Anyway. Uh, right, we're going to leave all that here for now. And we're going to move on. And we are going to get out of here and then save the game. We're going to run. We're going to keep running. We're going to pick up these blue herbs because we might need blue herbs later on. I don't know if we're going to need blue herbs later on. I'm going to say maybe. That's the thing. You don't know what you're going to be fighting. You have no idea what's coming up around the corner. No idea. So, I guess it just makes sense to prepare and pick up every freaking thing we can, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> I do like that there, though. Stage clear. Hey, checkpoint, right? <laughs> no, don't be stupid. If we die, we lose everything that we haven't saved. Uh, actually, that's... Probably my fastest time that I've ever managed, which is kind of interesting. I am going to go through here. I'm going to drop a save, and we're going to have a little pause in the video. Nothing here. Sometimes there's stuff there. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have a pause in the video because I, I just can't, I can't keep losing footage and like practicing and practicing and practicing and having nothing left to show for it at the end of the day you know all bullets they're only hang on bullets but you know what i'll take them i'll give them a good home i'll buy it at a high price or you know take it for free which i'd rather do 
There we go. 115 handgun, but well, 121, I guess, if you count the bullets in the gun. So, I mean, that's not bad. Uh, that sounds like a lot, but we will piss through that ammo at a rate of knots. Scarily fast. And yes, I am going to save it. Uh, I, as far as I'm aware, saving does not knock your rank in any way. And you can see all my other attempts here. So, I'm going to put a pause on this video here because my phone is bleeping on. And I'll catch you guys in a second. Right guys, now we've saved the game, uh, let's, and banked the footage, let's uh, continue as normal. Right, so let's get a little weapons check going, and I need some ale. I need some ale. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff, that man. Right, let's go. Yep, we want to go down. Come on, Ada. No time for fucking around. Now, there's a couple of secret uh, weapons, I think. Actually, I think Ada only has one, like, secret kind of, like, pickup. Uh, and I don't even think a secret pickup is really the, the correct term. It's... Yeah, look. Where's all the fucking zombies? One zombie. Hmm. Hmm. Something's not right here. Uh, ooh, although, usually... There's two packs of ammo here. I'm only seeing one. This makes me a sad man indeed. Right, give me that fucking shooter. Right, you sir, get on your knees. You do not know who... Oh, there's the zombies. Alright. Move, Ada. Move. Yes, there we go. Fired our six shots into the wind. A child blew a child away. Ah, oh, such a good track. Now we've got dogs. Oh, dogs are already running. Oh! Oh, God. Oh, God. This is bad, guys. Whoa. We have three dogs. I can, I've been counting three. Never quite sure how many is going to be in this corridor. Sometimes it's two, sometimes it's three, I've had four. Come on, you bastards. Fuck you. That'll do, donkey. Unless there's another sneaky turd hiding around this corner. Which there could be. Oof. Oh, 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 baby. Don't mind if I do. Alright, we're getting well stocked on the old bolts. Right, hey, Titan. We seem to have loads of bolts. I'm sure there's enough to carry you through the rest of the game. <laughs> oh, you're serious? No. No, there is not enough to carry us through the rest of the game. The enemies that we will fight in the police station are insane. Did I mention the fact that we can get four Mr. X's in one room? Did I mention that? I'm pretty sure I mentioned that. I did mention that, right? Oh, go away. Go away. Of all the things to bother us, crows. Crows. Unbelievable. Right, well, there's the next leg of the adventure done. Oh, we have ivies. Yes. How many? One poison ivy. Okay. That's cool. Let's drop it if we can. Don't know how many bullets it takes to drop a poison ivy. Somewhere in the region of 18, I guess. Now... Through here is usually some herbs. Also, where we just killed that ivy, there's usually two of them. Um, yeah, we've got some more herbs. We've got two herbs. Okay. Herbs are life. We'll take them. Yeah, bow guns all loaded up. Cool. 
Now, I really do like the uh, the VMU on the Dreamcast. Having your ammo as a ammo loadout is really cool. I would like to see a, another screen on the, on the controller again. You know, the Wii U had the kind of the right idea, I think. I think it had too much screen. Is that fair to say? That it had too much screen? Right, the dog's there. Uh, they're not really worth fighting, to be honest with you. Yeah. It had too much screen on the gamepad. It was a bit silly. But then that was Nintendo trying to cash in on, on selling people a tablet. Ooh. Right, yeah. So this way, again, is completely optional. Um, we don't need to come this way at all, but there's a spicy meatball this way. A juicy, delicate, um, just fall off the bone, tender meatball just up this way. And we want it. We want it. Should be zombies here. Yeah, he's not usually, oh, he's not always right in your way, I should say. Some these guys have a few different layouts. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's not a terrible layout, but we've had better. Definitely had better. Now, we need to freaking run straight away because there's dogs here. There's like, there could be loads of dogs here. Okay, that's not bad. Come on. We're stuck. We're stuck. Oof. We got stuck there. That was a bit on the annoying side. That was really irritating. You know what? Fuck you, dogs. Fuck you. Seriously, fuck you. Yeah, come on. Come, come have a word with your dinner. Or so you thought Ada was your dinner. A delicious, delicious, a delicious, a delicious morsel she may be. But she is not your dinner. She has bigger balls than all of you. Oh, come on. Come on. Come and let Ada put you down. One down. Because we've got to go back through here, yeah. Ugh. Yeah, and I don't want to run through there and risk getting badly savaged again. Ugh. How much health did they have? Is there, like, one left? Did we kill them all? Ah, I guess we did. Cool. Well, fuck those guys. Let's go. Now, this is uh, the bonus room. And you're going to like this bonus. You're going to like it. Yep, you're not going to like him, but you are going to like this. Yes. Will you take the rocket launcher? Um, yes. It has ten rounds. To me, that sounds like a lot. We're going to enjoy that. There's a few use case scenarios that I can think of where that's going to be very bloody useful. Did I mention there's a room with four Mr. X's in it? Did I, I did mention that, didn't I? I would hate um, to not tell you guys about that. Right, okay. Oh, fuck you, you cunt. That was bad. Didn't really want to do that, but hey, we kind of didn't have a choice. Okay, that's cool. <gasps> Officer Hug and Kiss there. Officer Hug and Kiss can go get fucked. Oh, that's our line. That's what we say at work. Tell them to get fucked. That's literally our go-to line. 
Oh, blah de blah said you got to do this today. Tell him to get fucked. Oh, right. Now, pooches. I don't know. Right, we're actually running a little bit low on good ammo. Now, what I like about doing this is you can kind of see the arc on how these bolts home in on the enemies. It's kind of adorable in a way. See how they just like home in? It's really odd. But cool. <laughs> it's like we've got like the smart gun from aliens here. Oh. Right, I think they're all gone now. Cool. <sighs> right, moving on. Moving swiftly on. <sighs> right, okay. You can just get out of my face, mate, to be honest. Make way for Ada. There we go. Oh, I can't see. I can see. All right, let's go see our fallen um, friendos over here. There should be stuff here. There it is. There's two packs of handgun bullets if we're lucky. If we're lucky. There is three packs of handgun bullets. Not always three packs of handgun bullets here. Yeah, not always three packs of handgun bullets there at all. Uh, most of the time it's one. Uh, most of the time it's two, sorry. Oh, I can't even see. I can't see. There we go. I couldn't see the hole. That's what he said. Ooh. Terrible. Terrible. Oh. Shit. I couldn't hear that liquor. Couldn't see that liquor. Oh. Well, he's angry now. I don't know how much damage we've done to it either. Oh. Why have one when you can have two? And we're out of ammo. Good. That's what we want. That's what we like to see, boys and girls. We like to see running out of ammo at a crucial moment. Is there anything more Resident Evil than running out of ammo at a crucial moment? Right, this area sometimes have liquors, sometimes it has nothing. Sometimes there's one liquor, sometimes there's two. But here we have our save room. Oh, glorious save room. Oh, herbs. Oh, give them to me. Mm, herbs, yes, yes, herbs. Mm, yeah. Mm. Uh, let's just consume these herbs. Uh, we're also going to put our rocket launcher away because I don't think we're going to need it just yet. Famous last words. Now, I'm not... Hang on. I might actually have a look at the description for the rocket launcher. I'm hoping it's going to say something to the effect of this weapon is really powerful and should destroy any enemy in one shot. That would be nice. Uh, one shot from this should kill any enemy. Yeah, that's good. So, it's not like a watered down rocket launcher, I don't think. That would be really bad. Okay, so we can go through that room. Or we can go down here. Let's go down here. Uh, we got jamblers. We got some zambies. We can handle some zambles. Ooh. Come get your medicine. 
Ada is your pharmacist for today, and she will dispense your required cure. Okay. Ah, yeah, sometimes there's zombies in... Uh, ooh, there's not always ammo here. Can't stress that enough. There isn't always ammo here. You can't see it. Sometimes there's blue herbs here. There's blue herbs there. Do we need blue herbs? Probably not, but we're going to take blue herbs just because, as I said earlier, we don't know what we're going to be fighting. That gives us four blue herbs. If we get poisoned four individual different times, then we're not doing brilliantly. Let's just say that. Okay. Now, that is one way we can go to get out of here, but there's still another save room that we can check out. And I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to check the other save room out first. We're going to dump these blue herbs as well because we really don't need them yet. Famous last words. Are you poison data? Please don't be poison data. Ooh. Now, we, mm, we'll hold on to those for now. Anything in here? I guess not. I know how typewriters work, Ada. I've been in this situation with you once or twice. I'm just saying, Ada, okay, I'm not being a dick. I'm not being that guy. I'm not mansplaining. I'm just saying, we've been in this situation before. I understand the use of a typewriter, okay? I get it. Right. Now let's go check up here. There should be some good stuff up here as well. I say should. Isn't always. Please be good stuff. Ooh, there's, I mean, handgun. Ooh, loads of handgun bullets. Why not? Why not? So one has herbs. It seems to always have herbs as well. This one always seems to have handgun bullets, so... I guess they're definitely both worth checking out. What? 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 I do prefer the save room as well. It's a little bit tidier, you know. Uh, let's go down here. Yep, we're going to go down the ladder. I don't know what we're going to find down the ladder. I'm guessing zombies again. That would be my guess. Oh. Oh, guys. Do you see what I see? Are you are you are you seeing this? Red herbs? What's the stas? Hmm. It's too quiet. Really? Nothing? Hmm. Okay. Okay, we 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 can take we can work with nothing. Alright? This room is definitely worth having a bit of an exploration. Leave no stone unturned, Ada. Right, cool. That was absolutely worth going in. Absolutely worth it. Jimmy's have been rustled. Right, um, we'll put the herbs back. Do we want to keep a herb on us um honestly i mean probably not but i guess we could i guess we could let's make a super weed my mate always used to crack me up with that let's get a super weed going now i don't smoke weed but it does make me laugh i used to you used to smoke shit tons of it in college. You used, to, you used to do a lot of things in college. But, uh, no longer. Right. Okay, we can handle this. We can be a bit of a creep. Ooh, got some zombie mines. All right, not bad. And there we go, guys. Stage two complete. Ah, final stage. We're on the final stage. Oh, 21 minutes. Obtain the four special bombs. Yeah. This is where the game 
dials up the diarrhea dial, guys. The kid's gloves are off. I mean, technically, we're still playing it on level one, easy mode. But the kid's gloves, trust me, are off. <sighs> so we've got dogs in here. Run! Um... Okay, I mean, I'll, I'll take it. Those dogs really weren't up to much. I will take that gladly. Uh. Ooh, we got ivies. Why, oh, why would you put ivies there? Why would you put ivies there? Why, why, why would you do that? That's just a dick move. Like, why, why would you do that? You know. Um, I mean, I guess we've got more, more bolts. Yes, we will take the bolts. Okay, why would you put ivies there? Why? Like, you know, are you sick in the head? Well, I mean, obviously, they made this game, but... Uh, right, you know the drill, guys. We're going to put down a safety save here. And I shall meet you back in a second. A second for you. Uh, about ten minutes for me, because I've got to go check on my washing and hang it out on the line, because it is beautiful, boiling, scalding hot weather. Um, so, might as well give the old clothes dryer a break and hang it out on the line, I suppose. We're going old school, guys. Right. See you in a second.